Most men are constantly looking for motivation and information that helps them in breaking their bad habits. We can motivate you to take control of your life. Men understand that jerking off will not lead them to a high-value man. Still, they have been addicted to this harmful habit for so long that they are now looking for an escape. Some guys prefer a carefree way of life. They don't try to control life. Instead, they accept whatever happens to them. They allowed life to rule them. This does not have to be the case. Everyone here has a talent, even if some of us aren't aware of it. What do you notice? When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Do you like what you've seen so far? Are you content with who you are? What achievements have you had in your life? Every man has two sides, and the majority of them never get to experience the more powerful half of their personality. Everyone is on the road for a different reason. Despite this reality, no matter how unpleasant it may appear, if the sole purpose of your retention is to attract women, then you are a beta guy, and you will continue to function in beta mode until you mature and find a purpose in life. Can we focus on ourselves and achieve our goals if we temporarily put women in the back seat? How do you keep it, only to lose all of your strength, energy, and valuable seed while being intimate with her? Guys, this simply does not make any sense. We each have a divine gift. If you are cultivating your seed solely to attract ladies, you should conduct a thorough self-evaluation. What do you truly desire in life? Don't you want a meaningful life? Don't you want to be great? How about achieving great success so that your children and grandchildren can be proud of you and benefit from the legacy you leave behind? That makes seed retention practice even more beneficial, or do you believe that only a select few are fortunate enough to enjoy life's pleasures? Consider your current situation. If you want the best that life has to offer, you can have it. If you work hard enough to keep your divinely given life force, and channel it into your career. Stop being distracted by these ladies who have been sent to diminish our glow and light. You are giving up your life force. In exchange for a few minutes of pleasure, you can be a creative force and a seed of greatness. You will not be able to realize your full potential if you continue to spill your seed in front of a naked lady on your computer screen or even while having intercourse with her. Regardless of how appetizing they appear, the pleasure is fleeting, but it comes at a cost. You're sacrificing your life force. Your seed in exchange for a brief moment of pleasure. This saps your strength, makes you feel weak, and makes you vulnerable to life's harmful and invisible forces. When you don't keep your seed, you constantly attract women who have a lower frequency because you have a lower vibration as well. Because they waste all the benefits of their manpower by giving in to lusty urges, and she will share any negative energy she possesses with you throughout the intimate process. This is why, despite their best efforts, so many men fail to achieve anything positive in life. This does not imply that you must choose abstinence for the rest of your life. However, what if we could consciously choose to remain abstinent for some time? simply to aspire to and achieve greatness. The greatest men in history have given up intimate relations and passion at some point in their lives to achieve their goals. If we choose to ignore physical intimacy and impure desires, we will undoubtedly achieve a great deal because God or the universe will reward our efforts. Your better self is luring you into poverty. If you are completely focused on your goal and not thinking about women, your energy will transform instantly. When you repeatedly give in to your desires, you become a slave to them. The law of attraction states that you get what you think about. This is why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Because the rich aren't concerned with a lack of money, whereas the poor can't bring themselves to think about an abundance of it. The same is true for men who can't seem to keep women or attract them in the first place. They blame women's society or conjure up a slew of negative associations with rejection. As a result, their predominant thoughts are of lack, and they attract more lack in women. Well, the guys who get women seem to get more and more as their predominant thoughts are of abundance, and it has nothing to do with money or physical shape in essence, even though these things help them boost their self-esteem. As a result, their vibration rises, 
resulting in the abundance mindset and attraction, is all about the abundance mindset. It is the art of transforming a lack of something into a positive and flipping it to work in your favor. However, it is easier said than done because rejection or lack of something is a dark bottomless pit from which it is difficult to see the light. The law of attraction works in the same way that the domino effect does. You attract more of what you think about. So the negative thought that starts the process attracts the next negative thought, and the downward spiral begins. So, how do you get out of it? This is where seed retention comes in, as it is an unethical trick to manipulate the law of attraction in your favor. When you commit to retaining seed, the first thing you eliminate is the need for women. As you save your vital force and work on developing yourself, the negative thoughts associated with a lack of women or the pain of a recent breakup fade away. You are still a man, so you will still be attracted to and desire women. But the key difference is that you have moved from needing to want. When we need something, we immediately project the energy of scarcity. For example, I need this woman because I love her so much that I am afraid of losing her. We change it to I like this woman. She is lovely, and I want her. But I am working on myself and retaining seed. So I don't need her if she naturally flows into my vibration. Otherwise, I am abundant in myself. Because you have made a clear desire without the attached parasites of needing and lacking, this shift in perspective will allow the law of attraction to serve more women in your experience. As a result, you are coming from a place of abundance, and women will begin to flow effortlessly into your magnetic field. What if you decided to keep your stick in one place for an extended period to achieve excellent critical success factors? We will be honest with you young men and teenagers. Intercourse is greatly exaggerated. Do not fantasize about it. Do not daydream about it. And do not rush to enjoy it. Rather, focus on improving your job or academic performance. You would think that by the time in your 30s that you would have accomplished a lot financially if you could just go back to the age when you first started jerking off to adult content and had the same retention knowledge that you now have. By channeling your energy into a potentially lucrative career, you might have accumulated a substantial sum of money at a young age. Some of the 20 and 21-year-olds are aware of retention and are taking advantage of it. Others are more interested in chasing the bag than pursuing a woman. At such a young age, they are all earning hundreds of thousands of dollars and driving expensive cars. You know you can't control your life. Your life has been in beta mode for far too long, but it's time to give way to your alpha side and let the beast out. It's worth it, guys. The effort would be worthwhile. They say that a word suffices for the wise. But this is more than a word. If you want more videos like this, be sure to hit subscribe and take a look at the other videos on the channel. And with that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to show some love by hitting the like icon. See you in the next video.